All right, so why should your counter electrode be as large as possible in area in the three electrode cell? So a lot of times people will use, correctly so, um, a platinum mesh counter electrode, something that has a lot of electrochemically active surface area. Active surface area. Why do you want to do that? Well, let's go over um, as a reminder what's happening when we have a three electrode cell. We have a reference, we have our working, and we have our counter. We are applying on the potential stat the voltage between the reference and the working. So if we want to do a, a reduction reaction, that's going to be something relatively negative, negative voltage. And so the counter reaction, what the potential stat is doing is then applying a volt, its own voltage versus the counter electrode to be something positive so that we can get the opposite reaction occurring on the counter electrode to compensate. So for every electron that the working electrode gains in the case of reduction, we're talking about that, then the counter electrode is going to be um, losing that, okay? And so we have to balance it, right? Oxidation has to be balanced by reduction and vice versa. So, you know, if we have a very high uh, voltage, let's say, versus our working electrode, um, and if we assume that the, let's just for, for sake of argument, assume that the working and the counter electrodes are the same materials, okay? So there's the same sorts of catalysts involved in them. If our working and counter electrodes are the same area, if we apply one volt versus our working, positive one volt, then our counter is gonna to have to be negative one volt. However, so let's say, so, you know, same, these are same materials, okay? So this is just numbers to try to get us thinking. So plus one volt, so um, verse working. And if we had a one centimeter squared uh, working, then the counter, if we had a one centimeter squared counter electrode, is gonna have to be at negative one volt versus, uh, uh, sorry, versus the reference, versus the reference. And that makes sense, but the exact same re reactions occurring on both, um, assu assuming that these the same re types of reactions can occur. Um, and we have the same materials, so same catalytic activity in the same area. If you were to now um, use that same working electrode and apply the same voltage versus the reference, if we use a one, a two centimeter, double the area of our counter, what matters here is number of electrons. So it's actually current density that you're sort of, is gonna be changing if we double our area, right? So, you know, if we are applying, if, if one amp goes through here, then negative one amp has to go through here. And so this voltage now is gonna have to get, can be less than we have. Assuming there's a linear relationship between voltage and the reaction rate, which, you know, it's not always true, but we're just kind of seeing these trends. So what we can see here in general is that larger counter area means uh, less uh, voltage applied on counter. And in the case where the counter electrode area is way higher, you know, 10 or 100 times higher than your working electrode area, your counter electrode vol uh, voltage will be so low that it actually can be accommodated by non-Faraday processes. And so non-Faraday processes, another word for those, right, is capacitive processes. And so your counter electrode, essentially, um, let's say in this case, is, it's being at a negative voltage, right? The double layer associated with it being charged, okay, with the electrode being charged, has enough capacity in it to charge compensate the reaction. And then you don't even, have, don't even have to do any Faraday processes. So if you have your three electrodes in an undivided cell and you're worried about the counter electrode doing some bad chemistry that you don't want, 
you want to study what's happening on the working electrode, but then things diffuse over to the counter electrode. If your counter electrode is a small surface area, that could happen. But if it's a very large surface area, it's only going to be acting as a capacitor, and none of these side reactions are going to be happening. So that's why you always want to have a very high um, surface area counter if you can in your cell in a three uh, in a three electro system, so that your counter can be as innocent as possible um, and not interfere or or alter what's going on in the solution, right? Because if you're changing the composition of the solution by chemistry you're doing on the counter, that could indirectly impact what you're witnessing on the working, which is the whole point of three electro electrochemistry is just to look at what's happening only at the working. You don't really want the counter messing up with your observations in that way.